Let's return here. Each story was related to 15 five-year-olds and 15 eight-year-olds. And here we've got this problem where two numbers together, it's not really wrong that it's not following the rule. I mean, not bad. But the problem here is this 15 and 5 together, this 15 and 8 together. That's a little bit weird, easy to get misunderstanding, like 155, 158. So what do we do? We need to change one of them to be spelled out. And in this case, because it's a hyphen, this is, a, this is kind of a group 5-year-old, and this is a group 8-year-old. We can't change that. But we can go ahead and spell out the words before, so 15 and 15. Even though this is bigger than 10, so we should write it as a number, right? Well, no, this is a special case. The first block of trials was a practice set. So in this case, this ordinal, first, second, third. The mean number of absences by the 24 students was 3.6666667. Now in this case, uh, it's not really a, a hard and fast rule, it's just a kind of rule of thumb. But this number here is bigger than 10, so that's okay. We go ahead and we write the number. But what about this number here, this 366? Why do we need to change that to be 7? And the answer is you need to think of your statistical power. It's a complicated topic that we really don't have time to get into. But if the numbers you're using are 0 0.12, 0 0.34, 0 0.18, 0 0.19, then that means your power is about two decimal points. You have all these numbers that are using two decimal points. Now if you divide a number, you can come out with many decimal points, but you cannot really report that in your report because you're just doing that because of the division. It doesn't mean that your numbers really can measure that small, small fraction. Anyway, it's a little bit complicated. APA is generally saying try to keep your decimal points as few as possible. If you can keep it down to just one, that would be great. So here you have one. Well, this is pretty easy because they all round up very easily just to get to 3.7. I guess you could write 3.67, or you could write 3.667. How do you decide which one to use? And like I say, the APA is basically saying a rule of thumb. This would be really the best. And this would be uh, kind of better. But as you get longer, that's worse and worse. That's not what we want. Try to keep them as small as possible, uh, as short as possible. But the number, you know, if we're talking about numbers, this is actually not smaller because this number is getting smaller and smaller because you're adding up that small fraction. Very, um, you think it's like exact. This is a great idea. This is the way I want my research to be, very exact. But in reality, your research doesn't have that ability to measure that really small number, so you just round it up. Um, Professor Warden, I guess some students have asked me before, why can't I just round it up to be three in this case? Why not three? And uh, well, in this case, you would round it up to be four, wouldn't you? Well, now you're beginning to go too far, right? You're beginning to go too much. So APA is saying one to two decimal places is really nice and convenient and it's probably what you're able to measure. The greater the number of people who viewed the program together, the poorer was their memory for details. R equals 0 0.63. The question here is, do we keep this 0 here? And the answer is no. No 0. Why? Because this cannot be bigger than 1. Its range is 0 to 1. And if 0 to 1, you do not include the 0 before the decimal point. The procedure for experiment 2 was identical to that used in experiment 1, except that the child did not receive feedback after each trial. In this case, this Roman numeral 2, this Roman numeral 1, uh, we would prefer to just use the regular Arabic numerals like this, 1 and 2, for the names or titles or headings. The participants were shown real or fabricated newspaper stories that had appeared in either the 1950s, 1960s, 1970s. Now this is something that 
confuses me a lot, that's for sure. It's easy to forget because you do see people use this way often. But the APA recommends that you do not include the apostrophe, you simply add the S. Now, why the S? Because what we're saying is it's plural. This is 1951, 52, 53, something inside of there. Of course, it's possible it could be all the way up to 1959, something inside of that range. So all of those years are plural, but you do not need the apostrophe. Just add the S. Okay, those are lots of examples. In fact, the examples are way more than just looking at the material, isn't it? And the reason for that is because there are so many exceptional cases. Again, practice makes perfect. And I strongly recommend that you go ahead and if you're going to do serious writing, make sure you can have a manual next to you or on your phone or on your computer that you can get the APA manual and the MLA manual very conveniently online on uh, Amazon or on Google eBooks or on other platforms like that. Good luck with your writing and uh, keep those numbers clear. <laughs>